Hi all, hi Sunan. Thank you so much for this opportunity again. So in this video, we are going to discuss about emotional safety. You all may get surprised at this moment and you may think why, what is the purpose to discuss this topic? Why she is bringing this one all of a sudden to this forum, to this channel? This channel is especially to discuss about Scrum Master interview questions or things related to Scrum events or Agile or something else. What is the purpose? We don't want to have these and all in this content. But certainly, I say, emotional safety is very, very important for all the human beings in the world. Especially, we as a Scrum Master need to learn the skill for sure. We all used to discuss about some kind of physical safety or some mental health issues, those things and all. Did we ever speak about emotional safety? Or we ever think about emotional safety and its importance? No, right? So, I am here to just to give up some heads up on this emotional safety. It is a vast topic, but I am just going to cover some couple of things only here. And also, why it is very essential as a scrum master for us. In many attempt, many a situation, I used to hear that many scrum masters were saying that my team is not at all opening up when I am conducting sprint retrospective meeting. They are not ready to discuss. They don't want to let things known to others. So this kind of thing we used to encounter in our day-to-day -day life with many scrum masters, with many persons. So what is the reason behind this? So these are all the things. As per me, in God's creature, we are all very beautiful. Uh, how, I'm, I don't know how many days God has taken to create this beautiful world. See, each and every one has been created with some sense of purpose and something. Okay. All the living things are so beautiful. Our brains are constantly detecting whether a person or a situation is safe or dangerous and as our bodies try to protect ourselves from harm. Okay, either if we think that some situation or not uh, so safe, it is very dangerous, we may be in flight mode or fight mode. Either we will be ready to fight with the opponent or with the opponent animals or something else. Otherwise, we will try to fly away from that place. So when we don't feel emotionally safe in a relationship or in a team or with someone or some place, we don't connect or engage with each other. That is the reality, right? Even if we, if we see in our day-to-day -day life, uh, we may be having some close friends only. If we, if we feel very emotionally safety with them, very trustable person, we can share our financial status, our salary, everything. But we don't do this with all because of this emotional safety. There is no trust. When you feel very safe, then only you can easily able to connect with them or engage with that person. Rather, if we don't have that kind of feeling, we will try to get ourselves far away from that person or from that situation, whether it is cautiously or not. So this is a situation, not only for human beings, it's for animals as well. So I read in one book uh, stated that um, animals used to open one eye when they were sleeping. Okay, I'm not sure how far it is true. I didn't uh, went and uh, browse about this stuff and all this stuff and all. But still, why? Because its brain continuously watching the dangerous situation. It is not so safe for the animals to sleep. Uh, some predators may come. So that is a, that is a reason and that animals, some animals or some birds are opening their eyes when they are sleeping. Okay, to avoid them, uh, to avoid some harm situation, those things. Okay. On the other hand, if you think, if we decide someone or some place, anywhere else, it's very safe. We automatically relax into that present moment. Why? Because, because it's safe. We can share our ideas. We can do easily stuff. Okay. So research, many research has proven that and showed that when people feel safe, psychologically safe that too not uh, uh, some other things psychologically if they are thinking that they are very safe um, 
they are collaborating more they are thinking their innovative skills their initiation to task or something else they are, they are they are coming forward and take some steps they are taking some initiatives and learning ability it it is all it all getting increased when they are thinking that they are emotionally safe okay it not only provides a safety place we feel more confident when we are gaining that emotional safety things and all the place is emotionally safe we will relax and you can trust each other's process and feel very confident on this and we can just remove our guard and we start to share our thoughts and opinion without thinking of we will be judged okay that freedom will get developed okay so for this reason only i have taken up this how we are going to uh tackle the retrospective meetings based on this emotional safety after all this probably you just try to implement this in your team and uh, let us know comment in the comment box stated that how your retrospective meeting went after you have implemented this emotional safety thing and all but of course again it is not coming within a day or like that definitely it will take some certain time okay so without wasting much time i'm just moving on to the next slide why is emotional safety important for all so when does it mean to say someone emotionally safe at work also refer to psychologically safe when we say like this at that point they might be feel very secured so feeling emotionally safe means employees feel able to speak up okay so that that matters right we are all worrying for this speaking part only why team is not opening up because they don't feel that emotionally they are safe so feeling emotionally safe means um, they feel able to speak up team work and organizational learning and communication openly they own help back by fear stating that we will be criticized we will be judged those things see if if we think simple if we take simple example we won't uh, hesitate to share our opinion with our family members because we don't think um, what they will say what family members okay not to relatives or someone else we don't think of that thing and all right we we don't think how the judgment will be passed but we will openly discuss things with our family members and with our close friends why because we are emotionally connected with each other and that safety is really important in organization level as well okay so they are simply sharing only after they they gain emotionally safety emotional safety okay so innovation and creativity are really important for each and every organizations to bring up their organization up to the market level or somewhere else some some position if they want to attain some position they need some innovation and creativity skill sets when it will come when we are providing this kind of safety that to especially if someone is opening up very frankly and honestly in front of their leaders then that organization or that team can easily come up so that is why we are all suggesting why emotional safety is really 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 important okay so emotional safety goes hand in hand with growth mindset that cohesive and collaboration is valued and employee feel supported okay so it is like a, we it is not only for to open up um, we we have to have the growth mindset okay so as a scrum master we always concentrate on the individual's performance on the high high performance or high value creating team this is what our motive mostly correct all the countries are calculating for gdp or something else uh, or their economic status but bhutan is a only country which is calculating their happiness index their p citizens happiness index right so i i what i always feel that scrum master is on that area all remaining things and all of course not all the managers everyone will try to motivate their team but scrum master role is something different like how bhutan is measuring the team happiness index the same way we have to make them more comfortable then only we can we can bring, bring the growth mindset to the team members okay so if you take a organization which is in the top position at this point um, they they are 
that employees will be having more confident and uh, why because they feel emotionally safety you, you just go and pick selectively any organization in your area or whatever you know uh, that is uh, performing very well if you see if you have some strategy on that or some survey if you take it out we can easily identify that organization and their employees why they are differing from others because of this emotional safety it is i'm not saying this it is completely based on research okay so how we can bring up this thing how we can make our team highly motivated and high performing team by providing this emotional safety measures to the team to the team sorry okay that we will see into the next slide okay so tips for you to cre create or provide comfort to your team okay so if you are ensuring these things it is not only for team if you are about to start an organization very soon if you apply these qualities very quickly we can develop our organization to the higher extent okay so make it okay to make a mistake and own up to it so if team members are committing any mistakes or doing any mistakes make them feel more comfortable that's okay mistake is quite common who else is not doing mistake we cannot identify a single person without having any mistakes correct right? so make them more comfortable and always try to motivate them that's okay leave it this is a mistake you learn from it go ahead don't repeat it that is how as a scrum master we need to motivate them so in that way team will gain some kind of trust and confidence they will start to feel safe at your hand at your team okay show employees or team their contribution matters always literally openly showcase to the employees or the team whatever they are contributing it is really 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 matters for us it really makes some sense it really makes some profit to the organization it's really provided a big value to the team like that we showcase to the team members so that they feel okay our work is getting recognized ourselves our our thoughts are our, our words are getting valued or getting respected so those feeling they will gain and next point give employees their own voice in the organization see if employees are about to say something or about to convey some stuffs at least you are implementing it or not at least listen them give your ears to them for some time whether you are taking it or implementing it that is up to the organization or something else but at least hear them that that sense will create some kind of confidence to the employee okay if you are saying something they will at least listen us that thing make them more safe and comfortable with us celebrate individualism everyone is unique in the world i will be having some kind of different characters someone will be having some special characters with them so in this way everyone is individual appreciate their individualism celebrate it whenever you get some time or chance you just appreciate them wow you are your confidence is super high your voice is super good you can be like a you can go for politician authoritative tone like that try to encourage celebrate their positive tone positivity all the time so in that way we can we can try to develop themselves of course everything is uh, behind appreciation right if you are continuously appreciating then that person will constantly enhance the skill what we are appreciating okay focus on increasing trust okay so we have to gain that trust of course it is a value one of the value in agile and scrum so we will always focus on it to gain emotional safety work more on this area try to make your team more comfortable on this area then encourage compassion from management that kind of secure feeling that compassion that always should be encouraged encourage risk taking uh, sometimes people may suggest that don't take risk be at safer place but i always think that at least take some kind of calculated risk you don't want to say for example some may say that no no don't go out of the comfort zone no if you are going out of the comfort zone only then you can realize what is your ability the self actualization we can able to get what can be what can we do those things we can only get to know after we are coming out of the comfort zone so I encourage risk taking take some risk at least a year at least 6 months once at least a calculated risk small calculated risk please take always 
So encourage the same to the team. Then only they will think, say, if, if suppose team is proposing some idea to us, stating that uh, I'm trying, I'm going to try this one. So this may affect our sprint goal, may affect or may not affect. That is secondary. So team may propose this idea, but this innovation or this idea, if I made it successfully, then it will drastically reduce this many hours or it will provide this much value to the business. Then, okay, sometime we can have some kind of conversation, some negotiation and some compensation. Then we can encourage the team members to take that risk. Okay, go ahead. If it affects sprint goal, like we will see and discuss, we will ensure to have the sprint goal, but still, if you are having that kind of oscillations, we can have some backup plan or some, some changes we can do, but take some kind of risk. That kind of risk taking, calculated risk taking is really needed for everyone. So do that to encourage that. Recognize their efforts. Always, each and every sprint, at the end of every sprint, recognize their efforts, showcase, highlight the user stories or highlight the task, what they have done and you just state that because of this task only this item has been moved to the next step otherwise it will be very difficult for us to deliver okay like this try to appreciate them this appreciation needs to definitely go to the team member who is not concentrating more who is not collaborating with each other a lot to them okay why because if you are continuously doing this definitely we can say some we can see some visible changes with the team members then promote diversity okay nowadays it's everywhere virtual environment team members are scattered across the world so always try to promote that diversity uh, one shouldn't feel because of the region because of some other stuff some we are cornered like that one shouldn't feel always have always engage everyone in every conversation promote the diversity learn from the diversity create space for positive feedback uh, but as per me i always suggest um, Create a space for negative feedback as well, but learn how to say the negative feedback in a positive way. That matters, right? You can go ahead and say directly, you are not good at this. But instead, if you're saying that you are doing very, very great job, but if you provide little more concentration on this stuff, another one character as well will get increased and it will be showcased to the business showcased to the customers so why don't you try on this why don't you concentrate on that part as well it will definitely help you improve in that way if you're saying then it will be a very good one so these are all the tips to make your team very comfortable and make them very safe feel them very safe okay so how we can relax ourselves or we, we can do what are all the ways we can improve or maintain good emotional health. We used to discuss how to improve physical health, even on mental health, emotional health, we never think of, think it of. So how we can improve the emotional health? So first point, be aware of your emotions and reactions. Yes, of course, many a time, even I feel that same thing. I, I maybe feel very depressed or deprived at some point. I don't know the reason even. Uh, I, I was, I will be like uh, without doing anything, simply sitting and I will, I may start to cry or something like that. So many may have encountered this kind of situations, but notice what in your life makes you sad. I didn't uh, do this in past, but hereafter I may try this one. So notice whatever happening in your life. Um, why are we sad at this point? Why are we frustrated or angry? Try to address or change that, those things. If you are not addressing, if that is con continuously, constantly coming up in our life, then it will be a big challenge for us in future. So try to address this and think what your mind is seeking for, what your um, brain is looking for. Try to address this and try to satisfy that need. Otherwise, uh, if you are continuing this for a prolonged time, it will be a big stress for us. So then and there, react to your feelings react in the sense address your feelings how you can make it how you can satisfy how you can settle it like this think it of and the next one is express your feelings in appropriate ways that's what i said right how to say the negative feedback in a positive way that is the thing express your feelings in appropriate ways so that people close to you close to you know when something is bothering you Okay, so whenever you think something is not going good, something is out of your hand, let people who 
who is very close to you let them know and let them uh, discuss, discuss with them and have a healthy conversation okay keeping feelings of sadness or anger inside adds to stress if we alone having this we may we may be overloaded with stress so so better open it up open it up you you can suggest this to your team member even whenever i am i am running my daily scrum uh, if someone voice is done i will stop asking the status and first i will check with them why are you see, feeling sad in front of everyone even sometimes um, if they are not opening up then that time i will connect with them because um, as per me uh, my things are very good and we are we are uh, very open so there is no issues to discuss in front of team itself so we will check are you okay or health is okay due to this pandemic situation many are sick very, very often when you are getting sick so in that situation you just let others know what is your feeling why you are like this okay think before you act give yourself time to think and be calm before you say or do something you might regret definitely Uh, if sometimes uh, in some angry note we will draft an email and we will send out a, but if we think if we postpone that for a certain moment definitely our way and our pers- perception and our way of typing the words will get changed if we pass that moment okay so this is think before you act once we receive some email or once we receive, receive some message we immediately get triggered our hormones will get triggered our sense will get triggered we will reply them very angrily if that mail is not so good if they are targeting us in that case pass a moment postpone it even for a day if you can otherwise just half an hour postpone it our moods will get changed then you act think before you act whatever you are doing in whatever situation manage stress learn relaxation methods to cope with stress these could include deep breathing meditation and well exercise so make sure to do some exercises all the time it will make you energetic and it will help us to manage our stress as well so this is one key thing strive for balance like find a healthy balance between work and play and between activity and rest everything it should be balanced otherwise uh, if one thing is alone going up and one thing is going down then there won't be constant uh, harmony will be there won't be there okay so make time for things you enjoy focus on positive things in your life always take care of your physical health exercise regularly as i said already get enough sleep it will make our brains to work uh, provide high productivity okay uh, say for example elon musk and tim cook apple ceo they they are they were all experienced if they reduce their sleep how their productivity so elon musk tried to have five hours of sleep and pride his productivity see what a man he is trying and exploring the sleeping pattern and all so this is very surprise for me people are exploring these and all if you are sleeping 5 hours how the productivity for us next day if you are sleeping 6 hours how the productivity if you are having 7 hours so how the productivity they are calculating on that based on that you are deciding to sleep but for me and all i need to have some 7 hours of sleep i am not doing any exercises on it but people are doing like this and also to ensure their productivity skills so have good sleep to have to have some productivity okay connect with others yeah of course it is a key thing for a scrum master i believe connect with others try to engage with your team members most of the time try to go out of course in this situation we, it is not possible at least uh, have some video conversation have some virtual celebrations most of the time if time if something is there okay so this kind of connect will bring some confidence i i personally felt that connect we had some kind of celebration team is getting more connected with each other then they had they are opening up with each other they are pro, they are providing their concerns or issues without any hesitation without be without thinking of they they will be judged those things okay so without those thoughts team is collaborating that is that is really we need a right okay and find purpose and meaning figure out what is important your you in life and focus on that this could be anything this could be your work or family or some volunteering work or some kind of passion whatever you do so spend your time spend your quality time i could say doing what feels meaningful to you if you are doing something and you feel pleasure you feel happy 
then spend time on it you feel meaningful to that then go ahead and do that one stay positive focus on the good things in your life forgive yourselves for making mistakes and forgive others so that is a one one thing if you if we start to accept uh, mistakes on our head say for example yeah i did this because of this and suffering come it because of this i have i'm incul inculcating like this if you are doing things we will apologize ourselves very quickly but we don't apologize others that easily so focus on good things in your life for forgive yourself for making mistakes and forgive others as well this will lead us a healthy positive life as well okay so we are about to end this session finally you may think um is this really needed again but this kind of small stuff makes a big difference of course uh, what i am shared is my personal opinion if opinion differs and in agile especially there is always a room to adapt and a uh, room to discuss that in agile environment we cannot say this is right or this is wrong so this is my opinion again and if you are having any other different opinion we are open to hear from you we would like to hear from you do comment we can see okay so the minor things will make a big difference that is what said by martin luther king as well if a man is called to be a street sweeper he should sweep streets even as michael angelo painted or beethoven composed music or shakespeare wrote poetry he should sweep streets so well that all the hostess of heaven and earth will pause to say how will, how he generated is hostess of heaven and earth will pause to say here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well okay so as a scrum master you might have think this is very small but if you implementing this kind of small stuffs in your work earth and heaven will definitely pass it at our place and will say here lived a great scrum master okay who did his job excellently okay so try to ensure these kind of small things to be placed in your program or in your team or in your life personal life even i could say so earth has to stop at our place at one point and earth has to say yeah here the one miraculous person lived long long era ago okay so have that remarkable position in this society all the very best to you thank you thank you